Boston is famous for its bi-weekly market and since the 2016 referendum for being the town that voted most heavily in favour of Brexit. Almost three years later, sentiment hasn't changed and people here are still waiting for the government to deliver. We're fed up with it. We want it to happen, you know, pull out. Don't keep mucking about, don't keep giving them more and more and more money. It's ridiculous. One of the factors most often cited to explain the strong anti-EU feeling in the town is the large influx of Eastern European immigrants to Boston, swelling the population of the town by over 25% in the decade preceding the referendum. But the result hasn't put off newcomers like Theodore, who arrived from Bulgaria six months ago. I want to make maybe a little business. Maybe after five, ten years with hard work, for this, we play hard, I going to work, I working, going home and again and again, and yeah, new life, just new life in my country now is, it's not good. Immigrants are attracted to Lincolnshire because of the numerous agricultural sector jobs. Over 95% of staff at Ian's flower farm are Eastern European migrants and he's worried that he won't be able to find adequate employees in the future. So at the moment we're completely in the dark as to what our situation is going to be going forward and that is obviously a major part of our business. We've invested heavily in the last few years in mechanisation, automation to try and reduce our reliance on people but at the end of the day packing, grading flowers is still a job that requires a lot of hand work, eye work. It's um, yeah, not something you can automate to that extent. But the impact of Brexit on Boston much like the Brexit negotiations themselves, remains unclear.